What's up YouTube, this is your Breaker Breaker, giving you guys a deck profile slash discussion of my Red Eyes deck. Uh, this is just a preview of what I'm building. It's not fully completed, but I do want to talk about this deck and what's your thoughts on it. Now, before we get on to the video, make sure you like it. Also, comment below with your thoughts of any ways how to make this deck even better or any thoughts on any cards. Just let me know and I'll feel happy to reply. So let's get on to this discussion video. So we're running two Red Eyes Black Flare Dragons. Now the reason we're running on a two is because I feel three is a little bit too cloggy. Now for those who don't know what Red Eyes Black Flare Dragon does, it's basically a Gemini monster. That's all you need to know. He's just a Gemini monster, so he's considered a norm. So he's really, really good. We're running two Red Eyes Archfiend Lightnings for the Fusion card. Also, he is a Red Eyes, and also he's a normal. I didn't know this card was a uh, Red Eyes, so it really surprised me seeing that it was a Red Eyes monster. But we're running, running him. Um, for the fusion, and he's a red eyes. Also, um, his uh, effect is pretty good if you Gemini summon him. Basically, he destroys all monsters on the field that has currently lower defense than him. So if you have a red eyes monster with higher defense than him, it won't get destroyed. So don't worry about that. So it's really, really good because it just blows up the field. Really good card, but it doesn't pop back. It's just monsters. Now, the new card that makes this deck run very smoothly is the Black Stone of Legend. Now, this card is basically the replacement of, of Red Eyes B Chick. Um, if you notice, the majority of all the cards of this deck, they make sure that Red Eyes B Chick is not considered a Red Eyes monster. So, there's not really much of a point running Red Eyes B Chick when this card does a 10 times better job. Now, what it does is basically you contribute this card to Special Summon a level 7 red eyes monster from your deck to the field. Also, you can return a red eyes monster from your graveyard to your graveyard um, to your deck and then add this card to your uh, hand. You can only use this effect once per turn. So you can't do both effects in one turn. So keep in mind you can only do one. But basically you want to get Blackstone of Legend as soon as you can on the field and get your plays uh, actively working. Now this card makes the deck as fast as possible and really good. Now only running two Red Eyes Wyvern due to the fact of, you know, it just sometimes gets cloggy and it's a fact that's not that great, but you still have to run them just to spot summon some Red Eyes monster from your graveyard. The King Head Honcho Red Eyes uh, Darkness Metal Dragon, um, you have to run this card, um, any Red Eyes or Dragon deck, he's just the King of Dragons, basically. And, um, what's it called? We're running, uh, three Red Eyes B Dragons, um, it's a really good card um, in this deck. Um, some of you might be thinking it's just a normal vanilla, but the fact that this deck special summons so many normal monsters, it just makes it up. So it's a really good card for this deck, and uh, you know everything around uh, goes around normal summoning uh, normal red eyes dragons. And remember, the Gemini monsters are considered normal as well. So red eyes is really good. I might cut it down to two. I'm not 100% sure, but for now it's just at three. Now we're running these two new cards called Carbodon. Now Carbodon basically, uh, it's effect his first effect is irrelevant, but basically whenever he's sent to the graveyard, you can special summon a normal uh, red eye, uh, not red eyes, a normal dragon type monster, uh, level seven or lower, uh, from your deck to the field based on different positions. So it gets your red eyes instantly on the field once it's sent to the graveyard. So it's pretty good, and that's why I'm probably going to consider changing this build around. Maybe focusing maybe on Carbodon, who knows, but Carbodon has some good potential and some good synergy around this deck. Now we're running a Lord of Darkness because majority of your decks are, a majority of the monsters in your deck is basically dark, other than your Red Eyes Wyverns and your Carbodons, but other than that everything is dark, so a Lord of Darkness works fine in this deck. We're running one Foolish Burial, just to get your, uh, what's it called, Carbodon to the graveyard. Uh, same thing with Dragon Divine, you want to get your uh, Carbodon to the graveyard. Uh, I believe, no, you can't say Carbodon to the graveyard. So, yeah, you can't do that. My bad. Carbodon is a dinosaur, but you, you get the point. You can either send Carbodon from your hand and then send a, uh, a Red Eyes monster from your uh, graveyard. So, like, you want to send Wyvern, so make sure you do that. Uh, right, Jackie, one for one to summon uh, Blackstone of Legend as soon as you can. 
Uh, card of Red Jewel. Now, I haven't been able to bust this card yet, but I feel like it has some potential. Now, for those who don't know, it's basically like a miniature trade-in for uh, Red Eyes Monster. So you send a level 7 Red Eyes Monster from your hand to the graveyard, draw two cards, and send one Red Eyes Monster from your deck to the graveyard. So that's basically the cost for it. So you send two uh, Dragon Monsters to the graveyard, so it's actually pretty good. But I feel like it's just, it just has a little bit too much of sending to the graveyard, so I don't know. I might end up uh, changing it uh, around, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe building a deck around Red Jewel or not. But I might end up taking it for this build out because it's just too much of the cost. We're running three uh, Red Eyes Fusion cards at the moment, March 1st of 2015. Uh, this card is not working, but once it starts working, I'm going to be doing dual videos with this deck and testing it out and changing it around, and I'll be showing you guys the, the real result and the real deck uh, for this Red Eyes deck. But for now, I can't play it, which makes me really sad. I'm running three MSTs, two Dark Coals. Now, the reason why we're running Dark Coals is because this deck is a little bit slow, so you want to be able to reset the field every single time. So we're running two Dragon Shrines uh, due to the fact that you can, what's it called? Uh, send a dragon type monster from your graveyard and if it's a normal you send an uh, additional one So basically you get to send your red eyes speed dragon to the uh, grave and then you get to send uh, Wyvern to the grave and then end phase you instantly get a red eyes black dragon for no reason So it's really really good just to send those cards Now return of the red eyes is basically a call the haunted four red eyes decks Now this card basically if you control a red eyes monster other than red eyes speed chick Obviously you can target one normal uh, uh, monster in your graveyard, special summon it, and if you, if this card is destroyed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can target one red eyes monster in your graveyard, except red eyes beach chick, and special summon it. You can only use this effect once per turn. It's just a really, really good card because you get two special summons uh, if it gets destroyed or whatnot, but it's really, really good. Um, just a special summon normal type monster, which the majority of all your monsters are normal. Uh, one Ring of Destruction, Solemn Warning, Torrential Tribute, three Mirror Force, the same reason with uh, Dark Hall, you want to reset the field, and two Reckless Greed just to speed up this deck. Now we're running three of the Fusion type uh, cards, it's really really good, I'm hoping I can be able to play this deck and see its true potential with this card. So basically this, this guy can burn your opponent um, if you have a, a normal Red Eyes monster in your graveyard and you can just shuffle it back into your deck and then inflict damage for that amount. So that's really good, and also whenever he attacks, your opponent cannot activate no card effect until the end of damage step. So he has like that miniature, um, what's it called? Ancient Gear Golem effect, I think? I think Ancient Gear Golem has that effect. I'm not really 100% sure. Now, we have 5-headed dragon in this deck because I was going to put Dragon's Mirror, and that's why I added also first of the dragons. So I might end up putting the Dragon's Mirror somehow in the deck to make it 41. But it will be in the deck eventually. And same thing with me. Uh, Meteor B Dragon. Now, this card is really, really good to XYC uh, Red Eyes card. Basically, whenever your opponent activates an effect, inflict 500 damage, and once per turn, you can special summon a normal Red Eyes monster from the graveyard. Really, really good to just uh, swarm the field. Really good card. Now, we're running Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon. I have no idea what this card does, but it's a, lo it's a rank 7, and um, I just added him there. I haven't read his effects, but eventually, when when I start testing this deck, I'll eventually know what he does. But for now, I don't know what he does. Um, number 11, Big Eye, uh, and a, a couple of rank 7s. But besides the point, this deck has potential, um, but I just have to start building around it. I might end up doing a Light Sworn or a Chaos variant of this deck, but let me know what is more effectively for this uh, build. I mean, you can also go with the Archfiend build, like have Tor guys and some Archfiends, and then the fusion card, I mean, not the fusion, the field spell, and then you have, uh, what's it called? Alright, sorry about that, I completely derped out. Um, you can also have Malefic, uh, Malefic uh, Red Eyes Dragon with the Archfiend field spell and whatnot, and just special summon this card, uh, and whatnot. But there's different ways you can go with this deck, but just let me know in the comments below which one is the more effectively built, and I can just work around that and then show you, showcase you guys a new deck. But anyways, leave a comment below with your thoughts on what I have for now, what can be changed. Like I say, this is just a rough draft, and I just wanted to share with you guys some ideas. So anyways, thank you for watching, being a subscriber. Anyways, I'm out. Bye.